this video is all about guitar truss rods. I would like to take away the fear a lot of people have adjusting them or even breaking them. At the end of the video I will try to break one. So now I want to show you something very interesting. After restringing the guitar with 10 to 46 standard tuning, I will clamp up the body of this beautiful jam massively on my workbench to avoid any movement of the body. The idea is to show you the flex of the headstock when I reduce the string tension from maximum to minimum by pulling down the tremolo. And you will see how much flex is in the headstock. This is really interesting. First of all, what is a truss rod and how does it work? It was invented from the factory Gibson back in the days and it's a pretty simple construction. It's nothing more than a metal rod that is inlaid with a slight overbow into a guitar neck. And it's fixed on the one side like this and on the other side you have a screw where you can apply pressure and if you apply pressure to the bowed metal rod the neck will move in this direction so it will straighten the neck. This is a function of a one-way truss rod. These are adjustable torque wrenches. My idea is to figure out how much newton meter do I need to compensate the string tension. But for this procedure I will switch the instruments. Why? Because I need a good access to the truss rod nut. And I did a very massive truss rod repair a couple of weeks ago on this beautiful Gordon Smith. And it's also my instrument. So if it's damaged it's my problem. First of all I have to put on 10 to 46 standard tuning. Now I know that I need 4 newton meters of torque to compensate 
with a string tension of a 10 to 46 standard e-tuning set. After making this very solid washers for my truss rod breaking experiment, I got the idea maybe it's very interesting to know how much torque can I apply by hand with a standard Allen key that I get when I buy a guitar. So there's always a long side and a short side. So I have to make two experiments. Stay curious.
And here's the result. After applying 20 Newton meters of torque on this one-way truss rod, he has a male function. Doesn't work anymore. But he didn't break. I'm a luthier for about 30 years now. And I can tell you I did a lot of repairs on truss rods. And I never, never, ever see a broken truss rod. In this case, the windings, the threads of the truss rod get damaged. A very common issue. But to have a comparison, how much is 20 Newton meters? Uh, for example, if you have a motorbike and you wrench up your sparks, then you have to use about 17 to 20 Newton meters. If you want to wrench up your car wheels, you have to take about 100, 120 Newton meters. So this was quite a journey. And at the end, I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't break. I hope this video was interesting for you. I have really enjoyed making it. And if you want to see the repair videos of this beautiful Jam and Gordon Smith guitar, please follow the links. Enjoy your life, make music and see you the next time. Thanks for watching.